Hello everyone, hello YouTube, my name is Vic of EU's Market Biz and in this video I am going to share with you the update on the newsletter. So this newsletter is the newsletter that you're going to receive once you subscribe at preferredcurrency.news. So without further ado, let's begin. So this is the newsletter um, that was received by the subscribers some hours ago so the website where you subscribe to receive that newsletter is this one so this web website is called preferredcurrency.news okay so this is only for $15 a month or $180 a year to um, to get notified of the latest updates or the new updates okay so you can use cryptocurrency as well Right, so let's go back to the newsletter. So the first thing that you're going to see once you open the newsletter are the three main news updates. So I'm going to read each one of these news updates, okay? So let's begin. So Lightning Powered Blog sees 20,000 Bitcoin micropayments in seven months. Okay, so... Few projects have done as much to explore crypto micropayments as the year old YALS blog created by Lightning Labs developer Alex Bosworth. From April through early November, Bosworth said blog participants have processed nearly 20,000 invoices with the Lightning Network, a Bitcoin scaling solution that makes micropayments feasible by keeping them off the blockchain sidestepping network transaction fees. It costs roughly one cent to read a YALS article, half a cent to leave a comment on a post, and 10 cents to react to a post with an emoji. Publishing an article is free. So, one nice thing about micropayments is that it brings back anonymity to the web, Bosworth told Coindesk. I'm really a fan of the idea that your identity doesn't have to be tied to a username and password, explaining that readers can tap into a YAS Lightning node and channel system without a traditional subscription, like most paywall paywalled outlets, he added. Maybe you don't even have a wallet yet, so you go to the YAS app page, you can connect to it. So far, readers have opened more than 118 Lightning nodes through this platform, many of which are now facilitating payment channels, in which small amounts are sent back and forth between users for final settlement on the blockchain. This allowed contributors to post 170 news articles, I mean new articles, from July to early November 2018, while readers paid for 625 emoji reactions on and 194 comments plus writers have claimed their bite-sized crypto rewards at least 432 times during the same period collecting the fees from readers for their articles it's pennies so every single invoice is small was what said as such some node operators have been operating channels for several months and according to bossworth earning roughly five dollar a month on routing fees. While this hardly constitutes a business model for daily publishing, it highlights how engaged readership can contribute to a platform's broader infrastructure. Speaking to how media outlets often find participatory ecosystems difficult to moderate since trolls and marketers can flood comment sections at no cost, he added. The micropayments help there because then you don't have robots or spam. Not yet a business model. Since Bosworth created this blog as a hobby with, an with a corresponding lightning node onboard process, he doesn't regularly track readers or payments and provided the April to November data to Coindesk request on request. 
he hasn't marketed the site or solicited contributions either. And yet it's clear that Bitcoin fans are engaging. In the beginning of the site, there were problems keeping the node online. If the node died, you couldn't read any articles or do anything on the site. I had to really babysit the node, Bosworth said. Over time, that feedback made its way back to LND, Lightning Network Daemon, and now the node is pretty stable. So let's continue reading. On the other hand, Bosworth acknowledged it will take years for this type of community funding to work for professionalist media outlets. For starters, few people know how to operate a lightning-friendly crypto wallet or node. General crypto literacy is in short supply among mainstream audiences. Plus, syncing up wallets and nodes with the site itself takes time to develop in-house. According to Bosworth, Readers were pretty forgiving when payments worth less than a penny had trouble processing. But if you had to, um, but if you start to charge people like twenty dollar a month or something, you have to provide a higher quality of service. That there is never any bugs, he said. Adding that reliable infrastructure for one click payments is the only way readers will use crypto micro payments for content on the go. If the infrastructure were there, so that there were less mental costs on the user to make that, that payment, he said, I think it could take off. Right, so that was the first um, topic, or the main topic of the day. So let's proceed to the next one. So, but first let's click this one first, so that it'll save us time. Right. So the next one is Crypto Hardware Wallet Ledger Resumes Bitcoin Cash Services. Right, so Bitcoin Cash or BCH services for cryptocurrency hardware wallet ledger have resumed. According to an announcement published November 23, Ledger suspended its BCH service on November 14 in anticipation of the cryptocurrency's hard fork to prevent unwanted transactions and potential replay attacks. During the service pause, it was not, uh, not possible to send BCH through the wallet's infrastructure. The BCH network experienced an upgrade on November 15, resulting in a complex battle and eventually splitting the blockchain into two. So BCH ABC, supported by crypto evangelist Roger Ver and BCHSV, led by Craig Wright. The hash war led cryptocurrency exchanges around the world to temporarily suspend BCH trading and withdrawals. Today, Ledger announced that it, had, it has re-enabled its BCH services such as adding accounts and sending the altcoin. The wallet also made a statement in its Twitter account, Our BCH service is back online in the form of Bitcoin Cash ABC. We're also providing you with a help center article explaining how to claim your Bitcoin Cash SV. It is recommended to do this before sending Bitcoin Cash. Ledger noted that as of now, BCH SV is not supported in Ledger Live. The company recommended its clients to use the Electron Splash splitting tool for making any BCH transactions. If not, users may purportedly risk losing their BCH SV if an attacker replaces the transaction on the BCHSV chain or vice versa. Okay, so earlier this month, the Germany-based IOTA Foundation announced its plans to integrate IOTA tokens with Ledger's wallets. This will purportedly um, will allow users to protect their private keys, giving access to their IOTA tokens in a special chip by isolating user key users' keys from their computers or smartphones. In October, crypto software company Blockchain.com launched a new hardware device dubbed Blockchain Lockbox that integrates with its existing online wallet, developed in partnership with Ledger. The device is designed to allow users to store all or a portion of their crypto holdings offline, 
with easy access to their online account. So that is the second headline for today. So the next one is this one. Alright, so let's close this first. Okay, so Gibraltar Stock Exchange wins license for blockchain subsidiary. So the blockchain subsidiary of the Gibraltar Stock Exchange now has officially, I mean, official approval from the island's financial regulator. The Gibraltar Blockchain Exchange, or GBX, announced Thursday that the Gibraltar Financial Services Commission, or GFSC, has granted it a license under the jurisdiction's new regulatory framework for distribu Distributed Ledger Technology, or DLT, claiming to be the first stock exchange to own a regulated blockchain exchange. The GBX was first launched in July as an institutional grade token sale platform and digital asset exchange. It currently offers US dollar onboarding and a number of trading pairs against USD. More fiat options and trading pairs are planned in the future. The license has been acquired by the GBX is Category 3, representing the highest category that can be awarded with the DLT regulatory framework, the exchange said. CEO Nick Cohen commented, Gibraltar has found the right blend of sensible and supported regulation, which has helped position the jurisdiction as a lodestar for the global cryptocurrency space, while allowing blockchain companies to flourish. Okay, so G the GFSC announced the DLT regulatory framework in January of this year, making it mandatory for firms using blockchain to store or transmit value belonging to others. To apply for a license, the plan to create the new licensing scheme was first revealed in December 2017. In March, the Gibraltar government indicated it was also planning to regulate initial coin offerings or ICOs, stating that most tokens are not considered securities under either Gibraltar or EU law. Okay, so those were the three uh, main updates on the newsletter today. Okay, so let's scroll, scroll down, right? So same as yesterday, here's the um, invitation to the private Telegram group for the subscribers. Um, the tool that where you can monitor your EOS transactions. Okay, so the two marketplace websites, EOS Marketplace.News and Marketplace.PCN.Today. And also PCN.Today, so the news website where we got our news updates. And also follow their Twitter account, which is Preferred Crypto. Also, there's a statement here that if you still don't have an EOS wallet, you can download EOS Links, which is downloadable in your favorite App Store or in Google Play Store, right? So, okay, so here is the main part. Also, um, this is the Donald the Guru, who is their publisher's research list. So these coins uh, mentioned here are the top coins for today. So these are Blockport, Cortex, Nulls, Smartlands, Zcash, Bitcoin, EOS, Teller, Davcoin, and Bitbay. Okay, so there's a button here which says Open Spreadsheet. So just click that one to um, explore further. So once you open that one, you will be redirected to this spreadsheet. And then as you can see, this spreadsheet is full of um, information about technical analysis of each of the coins. So as stated in um, cell A1, the blue are showing the best news. So the blue ones, like this one, Bitcoin, are the best coins that you should include in your research list for today. Alright, so as you can see, this is only just a view only spreadsheet so you can edit that one by following the instructions below the button in the newsletter so if i were you i would subscribe at preferredcurrency.news and check this one out okay so this is preferredcurrency.news spreadsheet right guys so Below that one are also the list of all the other um, information, so like the high volume change, the interesting technical price action, the high weekly trade volume, the high Google search activity. OK, 
okay so also and if you want to earn cryptocurrencies each month you can become an affiliate at their affiliate program so that you can earn affiliate commissions for seven levels deep you can register by clicking this picture or by going to the website itself which is preferredcurrency.news and clicking affiliate at the upper right corner of the website okay so as you can see um, there's also a lot of links here and it's for you to find out just subscribe at preferredcurrency.news okay so guys um, also uh, if you want to learn or keep up with the latest podcast and videos being published for EOS so this is best for EOS holders join this um, telegram group so it's called use podcasts and videos so, or also, okay and if you want to join initiative Q so initiative Q this one you can use my invitation link down in the description below and also if you want to do social service on a blockchain and give feedback and get rewarded in crypto download lumius.io okay so guys this has been Vic all right bringing you the latest news on cryptocurrency so see you on the next video bye bye